Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, silhouette uh, portrait. I'm going to make um, these tea boxes and I'm going to show you how easy they are. Uh, first you're going to cut your pattern out and uh, I'm going to bring the camera over here so you can see real quick. I loaded this I don't know if you can see. Let me turn these lights up. Maybe you can see better. I loaded this on my screen. And I don't know if you can see it really well or not. But I had loaded this on there. And I'm going to try to get it to where you can really see this. I don't know how good it's coming up. But I've got the the picture going diagonal. You're going to lose this little tag here. You're going to gain this little tag there. So, I don't know how good. I don't think it's showing up. It don't look like it is on my camera. But, it, this is from the Silhouette. And, um, it is the tea bag one holder. And when you make it, it comes out like this. So, it's going to cut out like this, and when you get it on the sheet, I got it, I got it cut out on the sheet here, and I'm going to show you when um, I pull it apart. This is what I'm talking about. You're going to lose this little tag here. It doesn't cut it all the way off. It, no matter how you do it, the paper is not big enough. You can cut and delete it but then you lose all your score marks I don't know how to make them in there I'm not that great at it but um, I don't never use that little dinky tag anyways I only want this tag and I just put it horizontal and I wish when they would design these they would make them better to fit these sheets but they don't you always got to cut off stuff and um, you'll have extra room to where actually they could have put that tag somewhere else on there but then it comes out like this and I don't know if you can see, but it has all the score marks here on where to fold it. And then you have your tag. So, it's saying to um, fold and on here. And then fold it in on here and then it has two other ones and you you're gonna fold that back because we want it to fold inwards towards our thing it's folding from the tip uh, let me see it's folding from the tip down to this corner the same thing you're gonna go over here you're gonna fold that from the tip down to that corner so now you have this fold, this fold, and when it folds in, it will be like this when you put it together. You're going to do the same thing on this side. You're going to fold it in on the creases or the perforated lines. I love a lot of these designs. You don't have to buy the dies. It's way cheaper. This pattern cost me, um, they had a 50 cent off they always have specials they have free designs all the time um, this one I think cost me 50 cents so it's cheaper than a die you own the design forever the only thing is I wish that they would come with bigger um, cutting mats and stuff that would be a lot easier that you wouldn't have to cut and do all this other stuff and then it has percolated line here here and here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold that in we're going to fold that in. We're going to fold that in. And this end. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to glue this side and this side. And we're going to do the same on the other. So, let me... Uh, it down here to where you can see and I'm hoping that you can see what I'm doing but this is like the easy part of it so 
what we're going to do is I'm going to glue. I found the glue holds a lot better and a lot longer than the tape. I did some with the tape. It seems to come apart easier. And I've got some good adhesive double-sided tape, but this really stays for a long time. I'm just gluing it, matching up the seams, and, do, and gluing the sides. And I have these in my craft fair. I put four tea bags in there and I sell them for two bucks a piece. Probably could get a little more. I've had a lot of people ask me and say to me um, this last craft show that I've done, why do you sell your stuff so cheap? And I tell them I only sell it to make enough money to replace the stuff that I'm, I'm doing and buy more supplies and I try to keep my stuff really affordable. Not everybody has a lot of money and it makes it nice that people can buy little things for Christmas. I'm probably one of the lowest um, priced dealer from what I have heard at the craft shows. I still make a, I still make money on them, don't get me wrong. But I do make money to replenish myself. I don't overprice my stuff. I sell a ton all the time. I make a lot of money. And I don't have to be overpriced. And i that's a lot of it. I, I'm making this stuff. I don't want to go home with it. I, I want to sell it. And a lot of people I see crafters, they got tables loads of stuff. And when they leave, they got table loads of stuff. They sell so high priced. Yeah, I realize you got time and money into it, but if you're not doing it for the love of it and to be able to uh, make things affordable, you're going to go home with your stuff. And now we have the tea bag. So, what we're going to do now is we have the tag. Let me see where the one, here's the one I want to use because it's to this. And what I'm doing is I'm using uh, my Stampin' Up, um, you're just my cup of tea stamp. I've got my uh, Misty Stamper in here. I've got it in here. I had to remove uh, the backing because there's that little space pad because this stamp is so thick. So now that we have this, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to place my tag in here, and I'm hoping that you can see all this. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to make sure that that fits. Got to move it up. All right, and I'm going to put that on there, and then I'm going to stamp that up. And I like this, Misty, because if it doesn't stamp good, you can go back and redo it and redo it and redo it. Um, I like it better than the clear box. I like the stays on ink way better than this because it dries better, but it you might as well forget it because it's going to stain every stamp that you got. Because you can't get it off. Even with stamp cleaner, I've tried and tried. It just stays on you. That's why they call it stays on, I guess. It stays on. But if you let this dry, I want this a little bit darker. So now we have our tag. And I just got another piece of paper in there so I can close that and keep it on there and it doesn't ruin my um, board and get all over there. Alright, so now we got our tag. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some tea. Oh, I thought I had four different kinds in here. Maybe we'll do two uh, breakfast, Irish breakfast blends in there. So we'll space them in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two towards the back. I'm going to put two towards the front. And this is like worth $2, I think. 
I sell I sold a lot of these last year. I did them different. I didn't do this tea holder because I just got this this year. And I'm going to put them in here. So, debating, of, I think I'm going to use this twine instead of the red ribbon. And then they can put who they want to and from on there. I should probably stamp the back. I think I will with to and from so that they can write on there who they want to put it to. We'll see how that looks. I use stays on in there and it stayed on. It definitely stayed on. It stayed even on the block. Alright, so now I got the two in the from and we're gonna put this through here. Then I don't have my hot glue gun on, but I'm going to I think I could fit this through here, I don't know. Normally I normally I would hot glue this, but this has a little wire on it. And we have our little tea boxes. They're really fast and easy, and I hope that you'll try them if you got one of these silhouettes. And right now, like I said, I got this for 50 cent for the pattern. Thank you so much for watching. That's what it looks like up close.